Hello everyone, in this new tutorial we are going to do loops. Now what are loops? Loops are any function which are going to do a certain number of actions provided that the statement which is done, which is which is, which they are conditioned to do is not favorable or is not fulfilled. Now example of loops we are going to have the for loop. Another loop will be the while loop. Another loop will be the do while loop. And another loop will be the go to loop, as we have initially seen in the applicability of the conditional statement. Now, what I usually use is the while loop because it reiterates or initializes the variable. I like using the while loop. But we need to know that the for loop format is a church. This is the format of the for loop. The for loop, though it's easier, the first thing it does is to assign the value of the you non know, counter, the value of the counter to a first value, let's say zero. Then after assigning, we must put a semicolon. The, then the next statement that you are going to put is to put the condition in which the for loop is going to be applied. If the i now is less than 100, let's say less than 100, then until i is greater than 100, that is going to come out of the for loop. That's the condition. And lastly, you increment all the value of the for loop by 1. This is how to use the for loop. Now, to use the do while loop is just easy. The first thing to do is to put the do. When you have placed the do, you place your statement inside. You see that the do is not in, in, in order to enter the do while loop, we are not obviously necessary to have fulfilled the condition. That is, in this case, in order to enter the for loop, you must be less than 100. But in case of the do, you must not be less than 100 in order to enter the do loop. Because the comparison is seen at the end. When you close the, the end, the last brace, the close in brace of the do, you can now put y. Now the comparison is being seen y i is less than 100 this is how we should do it do loop i put your semicolon this is for a do loop lastly while loop which the one i like using so here you just put y you then come into it you say i is less than 100 now the question is how are you going to do the incrementations in these cases? The incrementation are being done inside, so I will do i plus plus inside my my braces, and here here you have braces at the end here, and open and close brace, both like that. Where you are going to place what you want to be changed, and here you are going to have an open and a close brace, and in those braces there is an incrementation. So this is how to use the diff these are the different formats of the loops. For loop, the do loop and the while loop. For the go to loop, you have seen it in the initial tutorial. When you write go to, you write the name of the loop and the loop is assigned to the function where you want it to go to, as the name implies. Now let us see how to use loops. Let us just take an example. A loop that is going to list from number is going to write number one to one thousand. Let's say one to one thousand. It's just easy because you know that in order for me to write here one, two, three, four, five, six, it's very long. So I'll ask the machine to do that boring steps, those very long steps for one thousand or one million times. So I'll ask it by using loops. So I'll use my loop. My while loop, I first, I'll first put an integer, assign an integer variable. So I'll say the counter here is i. I first assign the initial value of i to zero. Now, when I initial, I assign initial value of i to zero, it's out of my default function. I'll come inside my default where I'll ask it to skip from two places from up and two places from down. Now. 
what I will do is I'm going to name some numbers from 1 to 100. Let's say I will list 1 to 100 in a line. So what I will do is I will say why I come in. I come into it, I say I is less than 100. Why I is less than 100? Then I start up my code. I say print the number, printf the number. The number here will be first percentage d because they are, they are integers, percentage d, comma, replace i. Then you go down, you increment by 1. I can increment by 1 either by using this or by using i equals to i plus 1. But I like using i equals to i plus 1. So you can still use incrementation as such i plus plus or even or even incrementation as such plus equals to one. So these are the two methods I can I can use to replace this one. So I'll place a semicolon at this end. So I'm asking now to say to first put half this i equals to zero i equals zero is going to permit me to enter this while loop i less than one this is i so it's going to enter this loop here when it's entering i less than one i see that it's going to now print the first number is going to be printed as going to be zero so if i want to start counting from one i'll put one here it's going to enter First number is going to be one. I want that it should be on a line. So what I will do is that every time it prints, I will first put a tab. A tab will be there, but the first thing will be an n. So anytime it's going to descend by n, then it's going to tap to be at the center. Then it goes down, it adds plus one, then it will be two. Two is less than one, it continues back again, it comes back and it prints at all that. So let's see. So we have this. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, one hundred. Now one hundred has not been counted because we just place it less than. If you want that one hundred should be counted, we should put less than and equals to. You compile and build. We have this. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, one hundred. So this is I've asked my code to do it for me to one hundred. We can still draw a small triangle. Can decide to draw a triangle. Now in this case to draw triangles, you can use nested loops. To draw triangles as we are going to see that in the applicability of four of loops so this will mark the end of the usage of loops thanks for your kind attention